Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much, and enjoy the show. Alright, let's see, where did we leave off? Uh, I've been babysitting the unit, and uh, the only thing that I've noticed on the fluids running out have been uh, the tritium has slowed down, uh, but only when it's uh, nighttime and the following day has rain, because rain turns off the solar neutron activators as well. And that's the only time I noticed the uh, tritium in the dynamic tank going down, but then uh, as soon as it stops raining, or uh, if it gives me any kind of uh, daylight without rain, this dynamic tank fills right back up. So we're making uh, enough deuterium and tritium to run the uh, the nuclear craft fusion reactor. Uh, everything is going well, it seems. No meltdowns or anything. Uh, the neutron fluid is up to 155 buckets now. That's pretty sweet. And you can see it's an enderium tank, or, or yeah, it's an enderium resonant ender tank so it can hold uh what is that 8000 buckets that's no 800 buckets that works and uh yeah you can see a little bit of the neutron fluid inside uh i'm thinking about making another dynamic tank and putting it in the middle over there for neutron fluid but i'm not sure since this fluid has a graphic to it like it flickers around i'm not sure if that's going to cause a crazy amount of lag but um yeah, I'll probably like plug in a tank at the bottom, set this to output, let it drain out, and and uh, put the fluids to use in the future. I'm not, I don't even know what neutron fluid is used for. I just know that it's the rarest of all the byproducts. So I think the last thing we left off on was uh, making some uh, ender ender items. I went through and I made a bunch of bookmarks so that uh, you don't have to. Watch me flippering through JEI looking for the stuff now. I need to get used to using bookmarks and then clicking here to see what we need. So this is everything we need to make uh, work towards flux. Uh, I know I made a soul vial and uh, a Enderman teleported in front of me. So I equipped the, the soul vial and I right clicked him. He vanished and went right into this uh, soul vial for the Enderman. Uh, and we can jump straight into the basement and I wanted to wait and record it on stream for y'all so uh, as far as I understand oh yeah and I read up on these capacitors that we've given getting from loot chests and uh, like you have to de decipher it's coded inside if you see the word wonder that's the second from the best tier of capacitor so this one's a wonder capacitor at the bottom and then this one, uh, it says, where does it say? Enhanced hot wonder capacitor. If wonder is in it, that means it's, uh, I think, 2.5 times faster. Uh, but it's be better than a basic, and it's better than a double layer capacitor. And it also freed up those double layer capacitors that I had in here so that I can use those towards crafting the octatic. But these have been... Uh, uh, quest rewards from the loot boxes, dungeon loot. Um, a bunch of them have have uh, are called duds. They have dud in the in the wording, which means it's it's junk. Uh, and I have a couple of wonder, so I pop those in. And uh, I haven't tested it yet, but the uh, max storage went up. It skyrocketed by a lot. Uh, so let's see. We need to do this and put you in there. And then use six, and then there's our ender crystal. And we get, oh cool, so we get the soul vial back. There's our ender crystal, we need that to make the dimensional transceiver. So let's just stick that in our ME system for right now. I guess our ME system is full on types. So this one's not going in. Uh, I'll hold it in my inventory right now. The uh, major problem that I ran into is I've been working nights on the space station and the issue that I ran into now is that I can't chunk load the space station 
which is making the ender chest uh, fill up with junk in the overworld from the resource miner and from the void ore miner because it is hooked up to the ME system in the space station and I can't chunk load it. So uh, now that I'm home, let's see if there's any kind of chunk loader. Chunk load, chunk loader upgrade for open computers. Let's see, chunk load, chunk loader power tier one. I'm not sure if this will work. I'll look into the chunk loader from industrial craft, but I won't make it on stream today uh, because that's something that I'm doing out uh, b like behind the scenes. I'll try and do this later, uh, maybe tonight, you know, when I'm getting ready for bed and I'll dilly dally a little bit with the chunk loader. But yeah, let's go on. I put the uh, items over here that we're going to be working towards. So the, uh, let's see, the next item that I wanted to build was a slice and splice. So let's see what we got from this. Okay, what's this? This needs iron bars, energized bimetal, soul machine chassis, iron bars. So I'll use the iron bar one. Okay, we're missing one of the energized bimetal and the middle item. So let's see, slice and splice. This is a soul machine chassis. We need a simple and a soul attuned, and we'll throw that in the alloy smelter. Uh, chass, yeah, we got a simple chassis, and it was the soul die. Soul attuned die. We'll toss you in here, like so. Oh, and I got sucked into it. Does it go into the system? Okay, soul machine. It's probably stuck in the interface. Nope. Oh my god, where does it go? Is it stuck in the pipe? Can it get stuck in the pipe? Oh no, it goes into this one, right? Let me just test something. Okay, there it is. I was worried for a second there. Okay. I was worried it voided the item for a second there. That would have been scary. Uh, uh, energized bimetal gear. I don't need to do that. Let's go slice and splice. Let's go this. Uh, we need energized alloy. What is that? Energized smelter is in the inventory. Energized alloy requires glowstone, gold, and redstone. So let's make that in a pattern. It is processing lag. Energized requires energized in the alloy smelter. And then we also need to make this guy here without that. And then let's see. I hope I have room for it. Yeah. We do. This one goes here, and then in the alloy smelter goes here. Awesome. So let's make uh, one of the these guys. Oh, and then yeah. It physically has the items in here. That's why it wasn't showing it. So energize that and this and slice and splice. Perfect. So we'll go down to the basement. Got the dinger for the slice and splice. Uh, let's put down some power. 
and I'll just do a row. I'm probably putting down too much, but that's fine. And we'll put you right here. The slice and spice is going to need a capacitor, so let's see if wonder works. Okay, I searched wonder. Premium atomic wonder capacitor. Wonder, geez, do I really have this many wonders? Wonder capacitor. Unstable hungry one. <laughs> In, let's see, insane? No. No. Incre incredible? Incredibly explosive, incredibly planting is incredible. Premium hiding, premium hiding, premium crushed, incredibly explosive, incredibly hungry wonder capacitor. Jeez. I hope there's no like negative benefits to these things. <clears throat> All right, and then the slice and splice. Let's see. We use it for diode, tormented Enderman head, zombie electrode, Z logic, <clears throat> Ender resonator. That's what we need. So let's see. Any shear? Let me see if there's a diamond, a golden axe, diamond, shear. Can it also be diamond? Let's see if that'll work. So let's make diamond shear. And a diamond axe. Stick. you and you and then we need two silicone we need an enderman head <clears throat> we need solarium which we don't have so gold and soul sand See, are you gonna work here? <laughs> Stole two. And then uh, we need what was it? A vibrant, I think. Vibrant ally. And then was it like this? Really? Was it crushed? Did it need to be crushed? Slice and splice. Use. Solarium in the top, silicone in the bottom. So it's just the wrong spot. <coughs> All right. Boom, Ender Resonator. We got that item now as well. I'll go ahead and I'll put this guy here. So we got the slice and splice done. We need to make a sag mill. This requires an industrial machine chassis, so it's simple machine and industrial die. And I tried to see if the simple machine chassis could be replicated. It cannot, unfortunately, because that would be a great use of the uh, UU matter that I'm now accumulating and don't need. See, I'm using it again. I need to use this thing. So let's see. Okay, we're missing the bottom item which is an infinity bimetal gear. Let's just throw you in there real quick. Grab another simple and then die. We need industrial die. Toss you in here. And let's see if I can steal it. Oh, stolen. Good job. And let's go sag mill. Nice. I didn't need to, those were probably dungeon. Uh, loot. Put you here. Why is this a different color, though? See, these, these, this color reminds me of the simple machine. So this thing we can put in another wonder. Or what? What did I do? Insane? No. Incredible. I think incredible is the final tier. Incredibly insatiable, premium smelting, premium hungry, incredible hiding wonder capacitor. Good. 
whatever, as long as I don't need to make the capacitors. That's just quicker. Uh, okay, so sag mill. We need the sag mill to crush the dimensional transceiver. Sag mill, octatic capacitor, is going to require the charged, dr dr charged draconium block. Uh, dimensional transceiver requires the octatic capacitors, which we need two of. So let's see. We also need the crafting core and sorry about that uh, we need the crafting core which is going to require the crystalline crystal tine ingots so we'll go well to make that we need to make all of this the crystal teen ingots need to be made in the elite crafting with all this stuff, which I already have, but I don't have the Elite Crafter. To make the Elite Crafter, I need to get all of this stuff. So in there are the advanced crafting tables and the basic crafting tables, which we have one basic crafting table already. Oh yeah, and I did a uh, a tab for the end steel. Let's make that real quick. We need end stone, dark steel, and obsidian. End stone. dark. Man, look at all these boots that I got. Let's do half. Dark steel and obsidian. And then let's throw that into the alloy smelter. And see if I can steal some. Alright. This I wanted to... I looked it up. It makes dark steel balls which uh, have a 240% chance in the sag mill to make the secondary byproducts. So it will guarantee two times and a 40% chance of three times the uh, secondary byproduct. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go straight back into this. Don't want to waste any time. We need to make the elite crafting table and we also need to make the energetic infuser because uh, the elite crafting table requires the fluxed phytogrow, which requires an energetic infuser. So let's see if I can pull that one out real quick. What's the, what am I missing? A lead gear. I think I might have that one on crafting recipe. Lead gear. I do not have on crafting recipe. So let's make that one real quick. Lead gear. And then let's set you, get rid of that, and put you in with the bimetals right here. And lead gear, let's make uh, 10 of you for right now. I only need one, but extra is good. Let's get rid of this stuff. There's three. Six, nine, ten. All right, uh, and then let's put one here, and now we have an energetic infuser. Whoops, gonna ignore that basement. I'll stick you right here for the flux phyto grow that uh, I can make later. All right, so we are making the elite crafting table, which uh, first thing I'm gonna do is make the advanced crafting table and that requires a... okay, so we need to make all this stuff. This requires luminescence, black iron slates. Let's grab two stacks of these because we have more than enough of that stuff. And then... Uh, let's see... we need... Whole bunch of these and that's it for black iron let's see do I have black iron I don't have black iron uh, let's see induction smelter tough alloy HRP graphite graphite blocks nice Block of cold coke, that's a good use of the cold coke I'm not using. Block of invar. So let's grab some cold coke. Block of 
block of cold coke and some was it steel and some steel can I make it in the sag mill here get rid of these two things whoop no let's go do thermal expansion induction smelter bam bam Is it Invar? Black Iron is Invar. Wrong one. We do this. And tick accelerate you. Wow, it takes a lot when it's full on stacks. That's fully tick accelerated. <laughs> Stick you in there, and then let's do a whole bunch of these. Got thirty two. one and then let's go so we need one of these or we need two of those we need four of those we need five of these we need ten of these and then Need ten of these. Need ten of these. Did it again. In bar. And cold coke. Bam bam. Bam bam bam. Bam. This that. Let's go. Ten of these. Guess it just takes a little bit for it to go in and I just made 10 more of these okay I'm going too fast I'm trying to beat all of this as fast as possible 10 of these I get sloppy when I rush I play too slow though sometimes 10 of these <clears throat> two of these I took out the type bonus. Again, an unforeseen problem of uh, of my ME drive being full, unfortunately. Uh, we need this stuff. One. Good thing I didn't do more than one, because I'm getting nervous. We need two of these. Advanced component, basic component, elite component, ultimate component.
two of these. Two of these. And then we need... Another one of these guys. We need even more. So more basic catalysts, more basic components, and more black iron slates. Got black iron slates. We need a block of iron. We need basic components. We need four. We need eight. We did nine. One of these. Well, I'm gonna need more anyway, because I just I used from my inventory inside. And then let's see, do we have enough for that now? Another basic? What am I missing? A black iron slate. No, I'm missing the sides. Which are two crafting tables. Two crafting tables. Come on, it's not rocket science. I probably mixed up. Oh, there it is. I don't know. I guess I'm having some lag going. Basic crafting. Did I throw it in here or did I leave it downstairs? I left one of them downstairs. We need to make... We should have everything we need for the two advanced. Let's see, I think I might have left it in new mechanism. Maybe it's in the basement. It's not in here either. Let me check the system one more time. no idea where my second one went because I used it to make I forgot what I used what I made it for it's got over 7,000 recipes jeez well let me just make another one since I can't find where I put it I need one more of these and two more crafting tables. Black iron. Is it doing now? Basic component luminescence. Thank you. All right, we got two, and then now I need to make. Okay, thanks for going in there. Put you up and put you back. No, yeah. See, and now I won't go back in. Damn in me drives. Uh, I need one more of these and I need two more of those. So I need four, five, six. Let's see. Need one more, one more of these in thermal expansion. And 
and then these two that I already have. And then I think I need to make it inside of a crafting table. So let me make, let me put one down. I'd be really agitated if I run into my crafting table later. And I'm going to make one of these. Cool. And now I'm going to put this guy down. And I'm going to mine up this one. Basic harvest level cobalt. Perfect. And now I'm going to make this guy in this one. Yellow. Yellow. White. White. Diamond, diamond. Switch the diamond ones. There we go two of those. And let me see, we need... We need to make two of these inside of an advanced crafting, so we need to make a third one. <clears throat> I'll leave this crafter here. That's one of the items that we need. So we need to make one more of the crafting. It's kind of a rabbit hole, it's not really... It's not really difficult, it's more annoying. So let's make one more of these. Well, good thing we made a little bit more. We need one of these. We need one of these. Let me grab these. Black iron. Black iron slates. Luminescence. Mm, yellow. Okay, one, two... Three, four... And five. And then we need the emerald ones. One, two, three, four, five. We have the diamond ones and we need the iron ones. Two, three, four, five. Put you back in the middle. Luminescence can go back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Need to make another one of these. Ugh. Kind of annoying. It's doing this again. What are you doing? Black iron slates, two iron, and luminescence. Iron. Ingot. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make ten. One of these and two crafters. Kind of a rabbit hole making these crafters, these uh, ex extended crafting things. Come on. 
just make the two. I wonder why it's standing still. I don't know why. Do we have any wood? Oh. <laughs> I'm having a bad day today. I hope it's not affecting the stream at all. But it's making me make a lot of mistakes because I'm playing faster than I normally do. I'm not chill today. Let's see. Okay, now I'm missing. Ugh, why is it doing this? Okay, now it's going back in the system. Let's make another one of you. It was... this. Cool, now we got the two that we need. <clears throat> and the one that we're making it out of. Alright, let's see, what else do we need? We need hardened cell frames, we need signalum cell frames, and we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the elite components. Five. Good thing I was making mistakes and I was making too many of them, but it looks like we still need them. Ah, uh, eight. Let's see, do we have any of this? Oh, okay, we have two of the hardened cells. We do have signalium cells. With the signalium cells go here, and then these hardens go in the corners. Hardened cell frames, and then the... These guys go like this. Like that. And then... We need the mana dust, and we need Osgo glass, and we need a crafter tier 3. Crafter, tier 3, 1. Put you back in the system. Alright, we have a crafter tier 3, and then that goes in the middle. We need the... Fluxed Phytogrow, which is rich Phytogrow. Rich Fido Grow. Do we have this one? Cool. I'll make 12. That sounds great. Let's go to the basement where we put that energetic infuser. And then we'll put that in there. And I'm going to tick accelerate you. We got 12. Going back to thermal. believe they were there. They're on the outside. We need Osco glass, which I haven't made yet, believe it or not, when we were using the uh, quest rewards from way earlier. We had... Uh, okay, we have six. It was a quest reward. We got the Osco glass, and that's what we ended up using. Uh, oh, wow, and Os Crafting? Really? Casting? Probably smelt it. That's... Alloying. Yeah. But yeah, Advanced Metallurgic Fabricator. We need Refined Obsidian, Osmium, and Glowstone. Glowstone is Osmium Compressor. So let's grab Osmium and Glowstone. And Glowstone. Alright. And then the refined obsidian was refined obsidian and osmium. 
we only have two. Oh wait, we have refined obsidian. Let's go downstairs to mechanism and osmium compressor. This and this. And let's speed you up. And then what was the... Osgo glass. The third one was osmium. Glowstone ingot. We got osmium. We got glowstone. Let's go down to the new mechanism basement. That's where our uh, advanced metallurgic infuser is. Right here. Pull this out. That's the remnants of titanium, which now is kind of obsolete because we can just uh, grab rutile ore. Kind of unfortunate. So here comes the Osglo glass. Let me check the. I know these were quests for mechanism. So we'll make Osglo glass, and then, yeah, the last thing for mechanism is the quantum entangle border. And then mechanism will be done. Which is pretty exciting. Let me grab, I need 18 in total. It takes a long time to make these. It was fully tick accelerated as well. We got Osgo glass and I need the two of these. I'll put this back in and then that's the Osgo glass. The last thing that we need is the mana dust, which I don't have mana diamonds, so I'm not going to be able to finish this. I don't have mana powder either. I need to find, okay, where uh, where Trin hid her base, her astral sorcery base, so I can use her mana pool. Uh, these rods can go, what was it, pulverizer. It can go into the sag mill and it'll make four. So let's hit up the basement and hit up the sag mill which now has the endstone grinding ball in it for the extra byproduct. And let's grab all of the rods that we have in our inventory. Rod. I need blizz rods, blitz rods, blaze rods, and basals rods. The basals and, uh, came from the mob farm. The blaze rod rods, some of them came from the mob farm. These blitz rods, I got from killing in the environment, and the, the blizz rods I got from um, duplicating the blizzes, I caught one of them. So I need to go catch a blizz as well, and maybe I can toss in a, uh, a blaze spawner into the mob farm, and that'll take care of all of the rods that we need. So let's see, it sh this should work for the secondary byproduct, yep, yeah. wow. And this, wow, this machine upgrade is nuts. Very nice. We got Niter as well. Sulfur. Wow, this upgrade. I don't even need to tick accelerate it. It's crazy. That is nuts. Cool, you get byproduct of uh, pulverized obsidian. That was really good. That was amazing. I'm, I'm completely shocked. Uh, Mana dust is the last thing that we need. We need mana diamonds, so, so like we need erothium dust. Oh man, I hope this stuff can go back into the inventory. So let's grab some of that dust. We need cryothium dust. Grab some of that. I probably, I probably already have some cryothium dust though. Pyrothium dust. I'm just gonna shift click because I, I don't I'll, if I need any of this stuff later, I can just make more. And that's all of the aerothium dust. So the blizz rods, the blitz rods are the ones that I'm lacking. But that's more than enough uh, with the... Okay, so I'm going to need diamonds. And I'm going to need gunpowder. So this is the random part of the episode where I'm going to fly around and try to find where Trin hid her astral sorcery base. Gunpowder. And diamonds. And let's see, mana. 
mana in a bottle, mana infused, nuggets, just in case we had some mana diamonds and some mana dust. We don't in our system. Mana powder. It's gunpowder. Just making sure before I go flying around. All right, so create a flight. Here we come. Uh, she mentioned it was somewhere over here. Actually, let me do something really silly and uh, not at all what I enjoy doing on stream. Hey, Trinity, can you come over here real quick? I'm just waiting for her to mosey on over here. Can you do me one quick favor? You're on stream, it's okay. Can you show me the direction from base where your astral sorcery is hidden? Oh, I don't want to go on stream. I'm no, sorry. just tell me from here. Okay, so go towards the this way. That way? Mm-hmm. Because you need to go to our terracotta area. All right. It's not rezzing fast enough, but I am here. This okay, is what you're up. talking about? And then, like, search around. That might be it right there. No, that's a beehive. The lava? Search around. It is lit up, so go more this direction. You see what I'm pointing out on the map? Okay. I had to really wander around here, so I can't remember super well. Stay on the terracotta, though. I always just ender book to it. There it is. There it is. And that was a lot quicker. Thank you so much, sweetheart. <laughs> no problem. You're the best. Bye, so, stream. <laughs> so this is what I was hoping for. Now I know where it is. I'm really hoping she has enough mana in here to... I'm going to do... Let's see what the bare minimum is. We need four mana dust. So two. So two mana. Let's do... Two of these, two, okay, and then we need, I believe, eight of these, and where did I just, where did I just put it? Okay, five, let's see, what is this? This is an endo flame, can, ah, wireless out of range. Let's grab some coal. I'll grab a stack of blocks of coal. And super dash with the long sword. I'm not even going to care about the ground not resing. Now I know where the where Trin hid her base of operations. I'm hoping I did not, did I already lose track of where it was? This way. Hey, what's up, that dude Coot? I'm glad you're back. How's your day been? I'm flying around looking for her base that I have already forgot. I swear I have the worst memory. There we go. Okay, that's not going to work, buddy. I wish I could make some more endo flames to make this quicker. I wonder if endo flames can be tick accelerated. Oh my god! Endo flames can be tick accelerated. Yes. So much yes. Eat this.
Man on diamonds. I just need three more. Oh my god. I am not gonna forgive myself if I blow up her her hard work. Let me claimed chunks. I believe this is her base. Oh, I can't claim it because I've already claimed the maximum. Maybe that's why my space station isn't trunk loading, is because I've already claimed the maximum. That would be great. See, I'm always making mistakes and I'm learning from my mistakes. That's the great part of this game. So it's frustrating to make mistakes, but then... The learning aspect. I'm never going to make that same mistake twice. We're at seven. Eat it, eat it, eat it. There we go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, let's go. Perfect, eight. Uh, oh yeah, I can't access the... Wireless is not that far. All right, so we need the... Lead crafting, we need mana dust, we need this we can make. And that, and can't go in because the that can't go in either. Mana powder, mana dust, thermal, and let's see. We're missing two hardened cell frames. Four, two, the hardened cell frames. I'm pretty sure I can make those. Invar steel, steel, this sounds super familiar. If I am correct, I'll be extremely lucky. I have them, yes. Thank you, past D-Day, for being awesome and making them in stacks. Uh, I already forgot. Thermal expansion. Bam and bam and booyah. Elite crafting table. Thank you. This thing was an unnecessary rabbit hole. Uh, pick. I'm going to put this in the basement with all my other randomness. Elite crafting table, perfect. So happy. And in this, now I can make this goofy crystalline ingot. So we need diamonds, we need lapis, we need nether star nuggets. see how much of this stuff I can put back into the system. I cannot. I ran out of space. I can't believe this. Nope. Move this stuff to the side and I'll have to fix that off stream. Lapis. We need lapis. Let's grab another stack. We need nether star. Nuggets. Let me grab one stack. Uh, we need gold. And then we need iron. Ingot. And then we need crystalline. Crystal Tine, Crystal Teen. Game is lagging. Mm. 
and let's go. You're not going to put, oh, shift clicked, yeah, to put all of them in there. 12. And let's see, we need the crystal team to make the crafting core to make the crystal team components. And then how many did we need? We only need three crystal team components. So I'll just make the bare minimum three for now and I'll put the rest in here. Put this up, that, the nether star nuggets. I'll keep those on the side. The crystal team components. Then I need pedestals, also in the carpenter, black iron, black iron, block of black iron, liquefied coal. All right. What I'm going to do, since I've hit my, um, it's almost five o'clock, I've almost done an entire hour, osmeridium, I'm going to do in the advanced metallurgic fabricator. I can make that next stream. I have the three crystalline components. That was what was holding us back. Got pedestals. I can make a whole bunch of black iron off camera. And then I can make the black iron slates. I can make blocks. The liquefied coal comes from the melter or the magma crucible. I can melt them and put them into buckets to prepare for next stream and then I can make the pedestals and the crafting core so we we made a really awesome amount of progress today uh, I already have it set up tomorrow's episode we'll make the crafting core so we can make the charged draconium blocks so that we can make the octatic capacitors so that we can make the dimensional transceiver so that we can uh, make the flex cores. So tomorrow, most likely, uh, if everything goes as quick as how I was working today with minimal mistakes, we will have a flux network going. And I can plug that into the bottom of the, uh, I can plug it into the bottom of the, fusion reactor which is putting let's see what it's still running at it's been running for a couple of days now still stable efficiency 96.4 power 2.2 million a tick I'll put the flux plug into the bottom of this unit and then uh, we'll have infinite wireless transfer of 2.2 million at the minimum plus everything else is kind of a joke the two fusion reactors are 25k apiece the mechanism fusion reactor is 200,000, but this unit itself is 2.2 million. So then we can get rid of the uh, these uh, power cells and we can switch over to infinite transfer with flux network. So uh, one, thing that, one thing that I really wanted to remember is uh, I, I check my YouTube channel every day and uh, today I am up to 25 subscribers and there's no way for me to check on YouTube who my subscribers are or else I would personally thank each and every one of y'all. But if you're watching this and you're subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Every time I get a notification and it tells me that I have a comment or a new subscriber, it really makes me feel good. Um, I have some personal issues going on in my life. I'm not going to drag that into stream, but Having y'all watch me when I stream on Twitch or watch my videos uh, on YouTube, it means a lot to me and it really, it helps me make it through the day. So uh, before I get unnecessarily emotional, thank you so much for watching and tune in tomorrow.